hear the words of St. Paul. Do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Therefore glorify God in your body. I invite you to find a comfortable seat and close down your eyes and begin to scan your body and notice if there is any place of tension or tightness or discomfort or pain in your body or mind or spirit or even memory. And you're going to begin to rub your hands together, generating a little heat and then gently drawing that warmth to the place that needs healing in you or simply drawing that warmth right into your heart. You're going to begin to breathe God's healing light and love into that place as you listen to these words from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him. And there was one person who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me whole. Then Jesus stretched out his hands and touched that person, saying, I do choose. Be made whole. In the words of the prophet Jeremiah, we pray, Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed. Gently open your eyes and come to standing. And we're going to do another pose that opens up this second chakra area, the space of creativity and creation and generativity, with a pose that we call goddess pose. So you separate your legs. You turn your toes out. And then you're just going to let your tailbone get heavy. Your tail is going to begin sinking down, knees over your toes. You're going to open your arms up to these cactus arms or Oran's prayer arms. And we're going to be here for a long time. And so as your legs need a break, push into the ground, rise up. And then when you're ready, allow gravity to pull you down. If you need a little more challenge, you might go up on one toe or up on both toes. So taking care of your body, we're going to listen to the creation reading from the first chapter of Genesis. We're going to pray that we can be part of God's creative work bringing light into the world. Here are reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And there was evening and there was morning. The first and God said, Let there be a vault between the waters to separate the waters from water. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let, let the land produce vegetation, seeds, bring plants and trees on land. That bear, bear fruit with seed in it according to the various kinds, and it was so. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And, the, and God said, Let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark the secret times and days and years and let them be lights in the vault of the sky to give light on the earth 
And it was so, and Bob saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. And Bob said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. And it was good, and it was so, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, according, each according to its kind. And it was so, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, in our likeness, and it was so. And God said that it was good. And God said it was good. Then God said, And God saw that all he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work she had been doing. So on the seventh day, God rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it God rested from all the work of creating that she could, that she had done. Mm, pressing into the earth, and like God on the seventh day, we return to rest, shake out those legs, return to your comfortable seat with which you began, and we close with a moment of thanksgiving for all of God's creation, with gratitude for this time, with gratitude for our lives, with gratitude for our bodies, we pray. Oh God, it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen.